Hi, Leo. Getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. I feel like some of you really want to put like your effort, your all into a relationship or building a home <clears throat> or building a solid foundation. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Whether you're really single in a relationship, um, I just feel like you are tired of being out in the cold, tired of arguing about something or feeling frustrated, putting your effort into something new, <clears throat> maybe new work or a new job or something. Something's going to go well. You have an idea about something and it will turn out well if you just pursue it is what I'm getting here. So it could be a different career path, different education, something like that. <clears throat> um, I get something about being a mom or being a single mom too right now or just like I get things have been tough but I feel like they will be getting easier. Also I'm getting, it could also be that we're going into summer months and so maybe your kids will be out of school soon or something. But all right, what is going on for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus? Overall energy, there's a lot of stress. Two of Wands, feeling weighed down, listen to your intuition. There may be a person, situation, job, something that you need to let go of or walk away. Now, maybe you can't do it immediately. Maybe you need to replace with something new because Ace of Wands is under the deck. But there is something that is really stressing you out or someone. So it may be time to, again, if it's a job or a career you hate, it may be time to, you know, definitely start looking for something new. <clears throat> I see you being offered something. I see there's an opportunity though coming in, the Four of Cups. And I think your intuition, you're saying, I think also I feel like maybe you need to, you do need to move if that's part of the plan, but you need to at least move forward. You may be putting in a notice or you may be again picking up your stuff and moving. Maybe things are too expensive where you're at or yeah, see it looks like there's a new, um, <clears throat> job or career opportunity or something along that line. I see a lot of talking. You may have to also plan for this. Like let's say you realize, okay, I'm going to have to move in two months. My kids get out of school, so I need to have enough money saved to do that. So you're going to have to plan a little bit ahead of time. It's going to be difficult. Again, it's going to be, you know, having to get something like a truck and having to pack and all that stuff. But whatever the situation is, it's going to lead to more money. It's going to lead to a better lifestyle. So yes, there's like something you got to get over and do and finish or pack or whatever, but the outcome will be good. So new opportunities coming in here, it will make your life easier is what I'm seeing in your reading. Uh, let me go to this deck really good, uh, really good, really quick here. This feels a little specific, like there's someone who is viewing right now where you already have the offer or you're like planning to like make a leap. Because I do see a lot of communication. You have the three pages already out. So opportunities. There's an opportunity coming in for you. So it says a stranger is about to change your life. Also exciting times and plenty of action plus a special family reunion looks likely. I don't know why they put that on the same card because that may have nothing to do with it. It could be some other reunion or there's no reunion because I know the reading showing an opportunity. It could also be maybe someone's family reaching out to them, but okay. My gosh. There's two cards in here that both are titled opportunities. I didn't know that, but they're different cards. It says an important offer will be made. Be prepared to dress to impress. So you guys are being doubly confirmed that there is an opportunity, maybe even more than one for some of you. So be ready. And it says wisdom. The fo to focus on the past is to lose the future. Heed advice from an older person, which will allow you to move on. Okay, so this is like a, a very specific, almost like a personal reading with fewer details, but this is like, no, you have an offer coming in here. Could be out of the blue. Take it, okay? It's gonna lead to less stress, more financial freedom. Okay, let me do one more. Major life change. So time for a major life change, a new lifestyle, location, or will bring great joy and trouble-free existence. Wow. So I get like the spirit was like really honed in on this message for you right now saying, look, you got to take this. This will make your life a, little, a lot better. Not a little better, a lot better. Let me put a couple more cards out. Nine of Cups, a wish fulfilled. Could be work, manifesting, something. Yeah, something tedious or tiring is over. See that? 
and then it could lead to love it could be a love relationship this may have nothing to do with work it could be working on a relationship working on a partnership something like that the magician is here so it's something you've been wanting page of there's the other page see lots of communication going on so again i'm getting kind of like if let's say if it's a, a move you got to go rent a truck and then you got to pack up your stuff and then maybe you're thinking well i need someone to help me it's too heavy so you know there's always like those bumps in the road and then there's feeling but once you get over those bumps even if you don't have the money <clears throat> you're gonna have to make it work do something and you'll be much happier on the other side you can't say no to this opportunity because you're gonna get rid of something very stressful in your life by taking this opportunity okay I think you guys get it see that look the fool You may be asking for some money, like getting a payout, something like that. You could be dealing with one person who's very stingy. Um, you may need to ask for a loan or ask for money back. Something to do with your past, getting away from your past. I feel like you may have a earth sign or an air sign who is causing a lot of pressure or drama in your life, something like that. You may be, or you may be moving towards someone who could help you out. Some of you, again, I'm getting maybe children are involved. But something justice over the past feeling out in the cold a new beginning with the ace of swords something that maybe you don't see coming a new beginning towering something again this could be you moving this could be you letting go of a fire sign so all right let me go to a different deck because the, the details are going to vary but the message is the same what else is going on for leo at this time what is going on for Leo? Oh, you're on the right path. The star card. Could be something you were wishing for manifesting. It says hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and positivity. You have a new beginning. The sun is shining. So that's new opportunities with the sun card and trust. Okay. So things are definitely working out in your favor. What else is going on for Leo? I definitely am seeing a major... Uh, excuse me closing of a cycle here um i'm definitely seeing like the end of a lesson or a karmic cycle for a lot of people i see it wrapping up this week <clears throat> probably will be also next week but um i do see it things getting easier for this group of people who've been going through this karmic um i call them lessons or cycles keys in a ring you have options you need to make a decision it talks about something being like a one night stand or unconventional or being strung along but I think this is about you making a decision you have more than one option twin flame might have something to do with a, a person that you're dealing with it says yin yang balance Zen union duality Phoenix rising and love could be a relationship coming back around for some of you someone coming back into your life it feels like if it's someone that you know cares about you and they're supportive and they really love you and um if that feels like the right thing to do then go in that direction if it feels like you know you it will help you get out of a negative situation or something it feels like that is the right thing so the tar tarot showed more love this right here may be talking more about a person a relationship there's a warning don't dismiss red flags here this is a spiritual lesson there's been some longing but someone's on a different page than you needing to forgive forgive interference here and now under the deck again finances so this could be a job i mean this is the original tarot which was showing like there was something that's stressing you out and worrying you leo something you need to let go of you and someone else whether it's a boss or a, you know the person you're dating whatever you guys are on different pages they don't agree with you that's why i think they show the king of swords and the king of pentacles there could be an air sign from your past who's causing drama maybe the king of coins is a new job or a new person coming in so it's like you need to just forgive that past person and just let it go and move on because it's stressing you out. It's done. The spiritual lesson, like I said, the spiritual lesson is done. You should understand it and move on now. So I feel kind of like a little bit preachy. Not what I was expecting. Is What else is going on for Leo? What about love? Leo in love. Anything else for Leo right now? I feel like, again... 
you are the empress of the king of wands here too but it's kind of like somebody is kind of running things for you look at the the king of wands is kind of looking over the empress energy maybe someone is taking advantage of you. maybe somebody knows they're paying you too little and you deserve twice as much maybe someone knows that you're a single parent and that you you know you need a specific job so you can pick your kids up i feel like see the five of swords and the king of swords i definitely feel like someone is working against you this is a very negative person, whether it's work, love, whatever it is, a landlord. And then again, I have the King of Pentacles on this side. So there seems to, there could be the same person, but I'm getting there's two different people here. So someone is leaving you on the cold. So again, there's something here where spirits really trying to get your attention and saying, hey, wake up, look at this, this, this is out of balance. It's not right. It's not fair. This is the lesson to see that you deserve more. You need to take this new opportunity, this new job, this new person, maybe even get back together with somebody who really cares about you or loves you or, you know, let them help you. So messages, justice, hierophant, judgment, the three of coins. Some of you might have to also like, kind of be humble maybe and, and go back to something that it paid better. People appreciated you. They loved you. Maybe you have to say, okay, this didn't work out, but I'm going to go back and do this again. Or you're just going to get messages here, justice, about a, a company, a relationship, someone that you work well together with. Life is going to be so much easier. Spirit wants to bless you and help you is what I'm getting with the justice card and the eight of wands. They want to bring in happiness. Yeah, they want you to be full of love and happiness and the Queen of Cups, the Empress, the Page of Cups. <laughs> I feel like there may be a maternal or a feminine, feminine energy that's also very protective of you. Um, someone's turning the tables, though, on this King of Swords. Yep, Ten of Swords, next card out. I knew it, though. You, t you taking the different path is going to shock this person with the moon. All of a sudden, they're going to see that you are moving on. You're gone. This is going to be um, a shock to them. They're going to be very surprised that you took this action, that you left the job, that you moved on. So tired of the drama. Some of you may move home. Maybe you might move home. with. Did that one card say family reunion? And I said something. This could be a family type of connection here with, with the Emperor's Queen of Cups energy. Someone who cares about you, a friend, a mother figure also. Again, I know that won't resonate for most of you, but that, for somebody, that's what they're saying. Family or friend could be helpful. You need to clear, again, anyone out of your life, doesn't matter the sign or the gender, who is taking advantage or not being their honest, best self around you. People are draining your energy. Strength in the Three of Swords. But again, I get people, when you do move on, when you take this new opportunity, I do get that you, gosh, you guys have a lot of uh, maybe heavy, dark influences around you, Leo. They could be customers, it could be friends, frenemies, it could be coworkers, exes. I think there's more people around you. I, I feel like you extend kindness to people who don't deserve it and not, people are siphoning your energy. So again, it could be a very draining job, a very draining relationship, a friend or a neighbor that you are helping, but they have like so many family members that are expecting you to help them. There's something going on here where I keep seeing a lot of people in your reading and it makes me feel like they are taking advantage of you maybe or using you or using your kindness or could just be one person for some of you. But because um, Queen of Coin in Reverse though could also be you're not getting paid enough, and, but you need to go towards a better opportunity. This opportunity is being presented to you. I feel like you need to listen to your intuition and really make the best decision, the Queen of Swords. This Knight of Cups is in reverse. There's no love here, but this Page of Pentacles is upright. Maybe even the Page of Pentacles is a smaller offer, but it's better for you. Like maybe you don't have benefits at this one job and you need health benefits. You need, you know, more time off. This job maybe gives you all of that, but it's not as prestigious or something like that. But just listen to your heart and trust that there's a new beginning you're on the right path you have some sort of wish fulfillment you're going to be happy so i'm going to leave it there you guys have a great week and i'll talk to you soon